My name is Betsy. And I'm Renee. Today we're going to be physicists. This is a bifocal model created for the Beyond Bits and Atoms class at Stanford. The idea of a bifocal model is to create a physical and a computer model and connect them in real time. Our bifocal model demonstrates how a pendulum works. We used a go-go board to gather real-time data and input it into our NetLogo model. The pendulum bob is the weight at the end of the string. In both models, you can adjust the weight of the bob. In the physical model, we have three different colored bobs representing different weights, 50 grams, 75 grams, and 100 grams. In our NetLogo model, we have a slider button to change the mass of the bobs. You can also adjust the length of the string and the starting angle in both models. In the physical model, as the bob passes by the magnets, the go-go board picks up the information from the magnetic sensor. Let's see how closely these two models match up when we run them both at the same time. First, I click the setup button to get the program set up. I make sure the mass is 100 grams, just like in the physical model. It's thinking. There it goes. The mass is 100 grams, just like in the physical model. I'm on the short length. Great. So that means I set the pendulum length to six, six inches. Now I push go and add Bob to say that the starting position is in the same place as Renee has it starting. We're on the lower flower of the setup. Ready? Ready. Let's see how it goes. As you can see, the NetLogo model mimics the motion of the pendulum in the physical model. Using both of these models together, you could teach about the factors that affect the period of a pendulum, energy transfer, or sinusoidal waves. You can also compare both models and we calibrate them to each other to make them match up better. Thank you for visiting our lab!